Hey guys, today we're going to install a set of the Fishbone Off-Road Scale Armor or Rocker Guards. I removed my step slash rocker guards to have better access to the side of the Jeep. And this Scale Armor is going to cover the section under the doors and across. And it comes kind of far up this way. Um, I knew I wanted to get a set of these because that's the area that I really don't want to get damaged but the problem is you have to drill so darn many holes in the side of your jeep so do you protect your jeep from dents or do you protect your jeep from like 18 holes being drilled in it i finally decided to go ahead and install these my hand was kind of forced on the issue and i'll show you why so this is the passenger side of the jeep and we were wheeling last weekend and I'm used to driving a razor and you don't have to push buttons on your dash to make your four wheel drive work. I didn't hit my lockers. I was in a bit of a mud hole and I should have easily been able to drive through it, but I didn't cause I didn't have my lockers locked. A log was on the side of the ditch. I kind of slid over into the log. The log went over my steps, come up and hit <laughs> this side of my Jeep. Luckily it didn't really do any paint damage it just made a dent so while i'm installing these i'm going to use the nut certs to pull the dent get it um, back to where it needs to be so i'm going to cover up my dent my mistake my memory with a uh, piece of scale armor so that's why i decided to go ahead and do it now rather than later Okay, once you drill your hole, it says you want to um, cover the bare metal with some type of a paint or a rust inhibitor. So I'm gonna use some spray paint. I'm just gonna spray it in the cap. I'm gonna use a paintbrush to, to make sure the inside of the hole is coated well. And um, we don't wanna have rust in behind the nut certs. Okay, these are the nut certs that came with the kit. And this is the nut cert tool that it came with. And I was not going to trust that little guy so I went to Harbor Freight and picked up, it was on sale for $39. And I've tested it out on a couple of pieces of scrap metal and it looks like it's gonna work pretty good. So you tighten this um, adjustment on the back until the handles are open and loaded. You insert the nut cert and you close the handles. And there we go. First one, now we got like nine million to go. In the directions, it says to tape this area off so you don't scratch the Jeep. But I was having a hard time um, measuring the, the gaps and make sure everything was gapped right. The tape was confusing my eyes. So I removed it and I'm just being careful without the tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it this one bolt in to where it gives us a better um, it holds the, this thing's heavy. It's like 25 pounds. So it'll hold it for so we can align the front and the back holes without um, having to worry about the gap being off here. The gaps I'm worried about are here and here and then on the back and front of the doors. That's the most important gaps. I, I didn't want them to be off. That would bother me. All right, I ran into my first issue when you screw these nut certs onto the tool that I got from Harbor Freight to load the handle, the handles start coming out so you can actually do the crimp. The shaft of the bit in here was sticking out of the end a little bit, about like that. So when I put it in the hole, the body behind there, the support behind the panel was making it stick out too far. So I took the one that came with the tool and I screwed it down to where it was flush with the bottom of the nut cert and tried it again. It still leaves me a little bit short, but I think that I can, as I make the crimp and I gain space in the back, it'll pull the front in. So 
I took my tool to the grinder and um, shortened the length of the shaft of the tool. So I'm gonna make an attempt at it. We'll see how it goes. I'd seen online that there is down in here some areas where you don't have much depth. And I was waiting on this to happen, but I didn't expect it to happen here. But um, in instructions, no mention of it. So it's something that you need to be aware of. Okay, so that worked out perfectly, just like I thought it would. It's got no gap behind it. It's, it's, it's pulled tight and flush, and the tool did its job. So we'll carry on. For now, I have one here and one between the doors. I'm gonna remount the skin and mark some other holes. I'm going really slow because I do not wanna mess this up. In doing this, I did realize that this gladiator sticker is stuck on here crooked. So when this is laying here like this, it shows how crooked the sticker is. So I'm gonna to have to remove that and replace it if I decide to, but I don't know what I'll do, but I know for sure I'm gonna remove it. Make sure you run your drill slow so you don't punch through the back panel because this hole you don't have a whole lot of depth in, just like that hole. But this hole, you have plenty of depth in, but you still have a panel back there that you don't want to punch through. All right, I'm super worried about drilling this hole here. It's under the driver door where the two body panels come together. It's right on the edge. I don't, I think the overlap's gonna be on this side. I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but I don't know, I'm debating skipping that one, but Henry thinks we do it. So if it's wrong, we'll blame him. Okay, it's there. I'm not super stoked about it, but we'll see. That might've been a mistake. Well, I ran into another issue. This is the driver's side back door, bottom of the rocker, this hole here in front of the seam. There's something behind there, I would assume an interior um, strengthening panel because of all of the structure that's here in this section. It's very, very shallow. I can't get a nut cert in it, there's no way. I'm debating just going ahead and drilling through the next panel and um, putting a nut sort in it because right now I'm kind of uh, kind of screwed. Had I known that, I probably wouldn't have drill, drilled this one. I'm worried that I might run into the same issue here at the bottom middle. I'm gonna do this one first and see how it goes. I'll let you know. Okay, I was able to get through both pieces here. The first piece is just like right there, and then I went through it also. So I'm just going to be very careful and have to paint everything back in there so nothing inside of that will start to rust. I'm going to go ahead and drill this one. I don't really have any choice. So the doors are aluminum. And this is steel but they've got it layered up there for additional strength because there's a lot of strength needed in this section. So drilling through a couple layers there also. This one's okay. Okay, we got all of the nut certs installed. We wiped all the metal shavings off and made sure everything was super clean. We wiped it down with some speed wax. Don't wanna leave any shavings underneath there. That would start to rust. Um, my plan originally was to put silicone under here and seal it so nothing could slide, could get in behind it. But I think for my first uh, 
let's just say month. I'm not going to put anything in there because I want to take it off. And if you put silicone on there, you're going to have to pry it off of there. So I'm just going to put it on with the screws and um, that way it's easier to take off. I'm also going to put anti-seize on all of the threads that go into the nut certs because I want them to be easy to take out. I don't want them to, to corrode. And uh, there's nothing worse than spinning a nut cert. If you spin this and it strips from the body, it's you can't get the, the, the screw or bolt out. So you have to drill it out, grind the head off. It's, it's a nightmare. So you don't want to over tighten and you don't want to have one that seizes up on you because if you do that, you're going to be in for, you're going to be in for some work. All right, this is a blemish from shipping. It, it was there. I'm just going to, have to touch that up. I'm pretty sure my my uh, rocker guards down there will hide that relatively well. I'm going to cover that up. So everything went really good back here. But as you can see, I'm missing one right here. And this is that where I ran into that reinforcement behind there. And the outer hole got torn a little bit and didn't line up just right with the inner hole. So the nut cert is off to this side, just a touch. Let's see if I can show you. It doesn't line up just right. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fill that nut cert and this with black silicone and make it watertight and leave it be. The next time I take them off, I may try to redo that. There is no room for any error whatsoever. So I had a little bit of, I can tell there was a little bit of a shift in this piece like this, because this nut didn't want to line up just right, and this bottom nut down here didn't want to line up just right. So when in try, trying to make those two work, I accidentally spun this nut cert down here. What I warned you about, I did it. So the nut cert is spinning in the body. I really don't want to take all of those back out and replace that nut cert. I could probably screw the nut cert tool back into it and try to crimp it again. I might try to do that through with this on there. I'm gonna try that first. But All right, I have got both sides finished. I fixed that twisted nut cert I had up here on the front corner. I just took it back off um, and put a new one in that hole. The only issue I couldn't resolve was this one in the middle where I had to drill through two panels. Um, that unexpected uh, support was in the middle. I just, um, it's just too far off to the side. So I filled it with silicone, the, the, the existing nut cert that's there. I just put silicone in it so no water would leak through. And um, I'm gonna put some, some black silicone or something right there to hide that hole but you can hardly see it anyhow. So this side looks good. The passenger side went much easier. So it's 100%, everything's all ready to go there. Had I not already had this rocker damage on my Jeep, I never would have put these on here. There's no way I would have purposely drilled all of these holes into a perfectly good rocker. I would have just invested in some better um, rocker guards slash tree kickers, something, something to keep any trees or rocks away from the side of my Jeep. I've seen several of them out there. They're kind of pricey, but that rocker is extremely expensive to replace if you did destroy it. And, you know, I basically just destroyed mine by drilling all these holes in it, so got mixed feelings about these guards here for sure. But overall, it did exactly what I wanted it to. It, um, I was able to use the nut cert to pull the dent out. I was able to um, cover up any uh, sign of any damage. So, and I'll be protected because this is heavy duty steel. Nothing's going to damage that. Even if it gets scratched, I'll be able to uh, paint it right back up, no problem. So, mission accomplished. If you have any questions or 
something I didn't cover in the video here, just shoot me a message down below. I try to answer all the questions that come through. You know, with 180 subscribers, I mean, it's really hard to get to, <laughs> it's really hard to get to everybody, but you know, I'll, uh, I'll answer your questions if there's something that you want to know. I mean, it's a, it's a scary deal drilling. How many holes did you say? 28? Yeah. <laughs> it's a scary deal drilling 28 holes in the side of your Jeep. But, um, you know, it can be done. You definitely need a helper. Hey, thanks for watching. I've got some, uh, an upcoming trip. I'm going to try out the new 23-0 tent. So hit like and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless.